Welcome to Leesburg Today's Daily Update for November 2nd. I'm Samantha Bartram. It's election day across the country and Loudoun voters have been heading to the polls in steady streams. Aside from some confusion caused by the creation of a few new precincts in western Loudoun, voting seems to be going smoothly so far. On the ballot are the 10th district seat in the House of Representatives, a local school bond, and three amendments to the state constitution. Polls will remain open until 7 p.m. We'll be at the County Government Center tonight as poll workers report the results. Check our website for updates as the count becomes available, probably starting around 7.30 or so. While most everyone's attention is on today's midterm congressional races, local politicians are looking forward to next November. That's when seats for the Board of Supervisors, School Board, and Constitutional Offices will be on the ballot. Today, Percival Mayor Bob Lazaro confirmed that he's considering a run for the Republican nomination for the county chairmanship. If he goes through with it, he would be seeking to put his former boss out of work. Lazaro got his start in local politics, working as Chairman Scott York legislative aid for many years. Lazaro jo joins a growing list of residents who say they plan to run for board seats in 2011, but there's still a long way to go before any of them can throw their hat in the ring. It won't be until next year that county supervisors adopt a redistricting plan that will determine who lives in which election district. That will be followed by party primaries or conventions in the summer to select the candidates who will compete next fall. Nominations are open for the 2011 Washington Post Distinguished Educational Leadership Award presented annually to Loudoun County Public Schools Principal of the Year. Teachers, students, former students, administrators, and members of the public are free to submit nominations with packets available online at lcps.org. Nominations will be reviewed by a committee of education professionals and members of the public with LCPS Director of Middle School Education Barbara Nichols serving as the committee's non-voting chair. Criteria for nominations includes a minimum of four and a maximum of 12 statements of support, one of which must come from a professional educator, a career summary of the nominee, and a description of how the principal goes above and beyond their call of duty in their school. Nominees must have at least five years experience with LCPS and have the intent to maintain their position throughout the 2011-2012 school year. Those with questions about the nomination process may contact the Office of Middle School Education at 571-252-1090. The Loudoun Museum Board of Trustees announced a series of cost-cutting measures to be implemented immediately in response to decreased funding. As of November 1st, operating hours for the Loudoun Museum will be curtailed to 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Fridays and Saturdays and from 1 to 5 p.m. Sundays. The last of the museum's first Friday lecture series will take place at 5 p.m. this Friday, November 5th, at the museum building on Loudoun Street in Leesburg. Thereafter, all outreach programs, including scout and school programs, lectures, walking tours, research availability, and loans to other institutions will be suspended. The museum will also eliminate one full-time employment position, retaining only its curator. The cuts follow a year of financial struggle for the museum, which had already made cuts to its small staff last year when various funding sources began to reduce grants. Anyone interested in learning more about how to shore up the museum and protect its collection of more than 8,000 historical objects should email museum president Liz Whiting or visit the museum website at loudonmuseum.org. Finally, there's still time to register for the Loudoun County Volunteer Rescue Squad Auxiliary Basket Bingo Fundraiser scheduled for next Friday, November 12th. Admission is $20 per person and includes access to 20 regular games, two special games, one winner-take-all contest, a 50-50 drawing, and two prize raffles. Lucky winners will take home Longenberger baskets filled with goodies. Doors open at 6 p.m. with games beginning at 7 p.m. All proceeds benefit the Volunteer Rescue Squad. For more information or to register, call 703-777-6048 or send an email to the address you see below. For more on these and other stories around our community, visit us online at leesburgtoday.com.